On June 17, 2013 Christina Kulavishin got the call that no family should ever get. Her sister and niece had been found dead in their home in Langford Downs in Kalorglin. They had been brutally murdered. Enrico was stabbed more than 11 times, Yolanda more than 60. It was the day that the lives of their family, who had made carry their home, were turned upside down forever. It has now been five years since that murder shocked Carrie, but the passage of time hasn't eased the pain for Christina and her family. How can we feel, Christina says. Even after 10 years it will be the same. We just try to keep going. You just try to keep going, but it was like a dream. All we can do is keep going. It is heartbreaking. It is not easy. I think about them every day, Yolanda would now be almost 32 years of age, Enrica a teenager, starting secondary school. And amid all that pain is the fear that, someday, the man who was jailed for the murder will be released. The worst part is, someday, he could come back. Life sentence here is for a few years, not life, so after 10 or 15 years he could be out. We don't know how long he will serve. We tried to find out, but can't. It's easy for him, he still has family. The government don't have experience of what we have. They don't know how people feel, not just me, but anyone who has lost someone in this way. I would be happy if life sentences were for life. What Christina would most like answers to some questions she still has. We have lots of questions but never answers. We still don't know why it happened, for Yolanda's parents the pain will never go away. Their lives ended the day they were told their daughter was murdered. Her dad, Romantis, died barely four months after Yolanda. Her mother, Ramuda, spends every day visiting the graveyard. For my mom, it is the worst. She was very depressed. Just have to try and protect her and keep her busy. She practically lives in the graveyard. She is there every day. My dad died months after. He gave up the fight, he said, I want to go to Yolanda and Enrica, now the family remember Yolanda, Enrica and Romantis with a special anniversary mass every October in Lithuania. Last weekend was the fifth anniversary of their death, it was a week of pain and tears, much the same as it is every day for Christina. Yolanda was Christina's younger and only sister, and Christina was like a mother to her. She saw her every day, and they minded each other's children. Yolanda was godmother to Christina's son, Erica's, a favorite aunt to her daughter Olivia, and she was godmother to Enrica. I especially miss birthdays. It's five years on and still painful. I try to remember them with a smile. She wouldn't want us to cry. She was so strong. She was my sister. She was my best friend. It is not the same with best friends as it was with my sister. She was a huge part of my life. Kalorglin still carries painful memories. It's hard. The family have no memorial to go and remember her. She is buried in her native Lithuania. A tree was planted at Skoil Mawir in memory of Enrika but Christina says she would love to have some place to go and remember Yolanda. There is no graveyard here or a place to go. You see flowers on the side of the road when there is an accident, but we have nothing, Carrie.